I'm going to show you how you can create an About Me page. This is an example here I've created for the teacher training course. So um, this will be the first page within the student's teaching practice portfolio. And it will be a great introduction to who they are. Um, so we're thinking about, for example, when an external moderator might look at a portfolio um, rather than trying to get a sense of a person as they go through, this page will give them a greater understanding of who the person is um, if they are not able to meet them, especially if we're working um, remotely still. And it gives the learner also an opportunity to learn all the tools that are available in OneNote um, and bearing in mind that OneNote is the same as Class Notebook, although there are some different um, accessibility options within OneNote app in comparison to the Teams app and Class Notebook um, and I'll discuss them as I go through. So here I've created this page, I've put a space at the top for the learner name um, and, it, and an explanation that they can change the font and change the size and change the colour. I've added the logos here um, just as I felt that that um, kind of gave the um, idea that we are a partnership. Um, and then I've left spaces and prompts for the learner throughout. So I've taken this background image just from a Google search um, and I have found a vector image so it's better quality image. Um, if I just show you for example here. So I've just typed in vector notebooks page and then you can scroll through and find one that's suitable and copy and paste it into um, your class notebook page. So I've asked learners to put their subject area, um, include a web link, so automatically they're learning these skills that they'll need for their portfolio, who their mentor is and where their placement is. Um, I've put a note to say put here the level and name of course you're teaching and then this is where we start, we're start. we starting to embed some apps and use of different apps. So here I've put the logo of Flipgrid and again just grab that off a Google search and I've stated create a one minute Flipgrid explaining why you got into teaching. Put the link or QR code here. So again, they're learning how to copy and paste um, items in, they're learning how to use things like QR codes, which is great for enhancing their digital skills, um, and of course using Flipgrid, which is a wonderful um, app for enhancing learner communication skills. I've then asked them to find a YouTube clip they like about a particular teaching strategy and to embed this here. So obviously we will showcase how to do that first, but it is just as simple as taking the URL for the YouTube clip and pasting it into here and then the YouTube um, video will appear. I've then said find an image that reflects your subject area and put it here and then there's an extension task for those who are feeling a little bit more confident. They might want to think about using the app thing link and that creates um, a more immersive um, image that people can click bu buttons on the image and that can link to further um, websites or further imagery um, and it, it's again another great app for learners to use um, both in their portfolios but for them to pass on to their own learners as well in the case of teacher training. I've put a note here to say put an audio recording here saying which ETF standards you most want to address in this semester. So it's getting them to use the audio button which would be up here so we go to insert an audio recording. Use the stylus pen to write two strengths you have in relation to teaching. So we appreciate that not every learner, and probably not many learners at all, will have access to a tablet and a stylus at home. So we are making um, at least one available for trainee teachers to use. Uh, we've actually ordered 10 um, for them to use and borrow and, and um, utilise within their classrooms. Um, so you would, if you have at least one that they can all borrow um, when they do get some class contact time, they can have a play about with that stylus pen and see the benefits of using that. Note here what you want to improve this year about your subject knowledge. So just, um, again, teaching them how to just directly type into um, the class notebook. Put a photo or avatar of yourself. Now I've put photo or avatar because people students hope, hopefully won't be um, 
worried about this, but they might not want an image of themselves on there. Um, so I've given the option of an avatar as well. But if we're encouraging things like Flipgrid, then hopefully they'll get over that kind of um, self-consciousness. Include a sticker of praise here. So again, they can go to um, insert, oops, sorry, insert and stickers, and it will give them lots of options for different types of stickers that they can insert. I prefer these ones here that you can change um, what it actually says. Um, so rather than it just being empty praise, you could say well done for, and then put a bit more information. Um, and really, I think that's all the different tools. So it, it's quite simple. Um, if you wanted to use this as a template, you can literally just copy and paste this and, and we can share it across um, notebooks so you don't have to do the setting up. But I do suggest for your own um, sakes to get used to the tools as well, that you set it up from scratch and personalise it for yourself if you want to. Um, and encourage learners to personalise it. So if they don't want to use this template and they want to use their own, then brilliant. Encourage them to do that. And that's it from me. Thank you.